Get ready, everyone, for Tuesday afternoon NBA action on 2K Sports. Taking a look at Seattle, they sink a little bit here in the rankings. Still, though, remaining in the top five. I think for New Orleans, they weren't supposed to be this good. I mean, people have now started to accept that they're a real factor in how this season will ultimately play out. Let's check out Seattle's starting lineup. Gordon out there with Reggie Jackson. Then it's Jeremy Lamb. And there's Porzingis. And it's Drummond in at the center, locking down the middle. And for New Orleans, Marvin Bagley is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Bellinelli. And there's Bryant. And it's Beverly in at the point guard. Down low, here's Gordon. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. And Gordon doing a nice job measuring these inside shots well. I mean, has a solid, quick release pretty much from anywhere on the floor. And the impact that Porzingis can have on the defensive end, Greg, cannot be overstated. Uh, the reach and leaping ability he has paired with his timing make him a premier rim protector. And, and what sets him over the top really is that fearlessness. And tonight, Clark, not just any regular season game. These teams going for higher seeds in the playoffs. And Kevin, you've been doing it a long time. And you can feel, even during the regular season, when there's a little <laughs> extra juice in the players. The free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. You know, there are differing opinions as, as to who the best defensive player in the league is. But no matter what, Kawhi is always in the discussion. Now here's Drummond. He had a 21-point outing in their last game again. Here's Gordon. Bagley with the rebound. For New Orleans, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Leonard with the bucket. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Beverly against Jackson. Outside, Lamb. Six to shoot. Outside, Gordon. Little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Can't connect from short range. Leonard attacking and finished off by Leonard. And in Leonard enjoys jamming it home, Kevin. Got to keep him as far away from the hoop as possible. Outside, Brzingis. And there's the defensive three-second call. The free throw drops for Lamb. But across the board, you can see his game upticking in a really positive way. Beverly against Jackson. Bobbed up there from Drummond. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And I like the timing, Kevin, that Drummond has on these alley-oops. That's not as easy as he makes it look. He knows precisely when to leave the ground to receive the pass and finish it off. Now here's Bryant. He had a 12-point outing in their last game again. Yeah, but he was also a force on the defensive side. Two block shots and also altered a ton of shots. And the call will be against Marvin Bagley. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Lamb passes to Persingas. Jackson, that's a two-pointer, and he hits the jump shot. And that'll tie this game up. Excellent court awareness from the big man there. Porzingis proven to be a reliable passer. Outside Leonard. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Lance Stevenson's checked in for Jeremy Lamb. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Bellinelli against Gordon. And it's sent back by Bryant. You're not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here is Stevenson. Kawhi Leonard making his last shot. Nailed from three-point land. And really, the three-point shot is Gordon's specialty, Kevin. When he squares himself up, there's a real high chance he's dropping it in. 
Now here's Bryant. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Shot clock at six. And that one's good. Leonard. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Stevenson passes to Drummond. He dishes it to Jackson. Over Beverly. And Jackson with the basket on the assist by Drummond. Jackson kicks to Lamb. Outside Gordon. Jackson from long range. Good on the three-point shot. Jackson's got five points now this quarter. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes. Six already. Pass to Bagley. And the pass to Bellinelli. Four on the clock. Kicks it to Ross. It's tipped. An above average shot blocker at his position. Lamb times his swatch just right. And Lamb slams it home. And that's a terrific sequence at both ends there. There was the block shot, then the run out, and nice finish on the break. Now here's Beverly. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Ross. Puts one up from 19. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Ross has got six. Feasting on the leftovers, eating big time. Ross stepping inside the arc and making it happen. And the call will be against Marvin Bagley. Now here's Jackson. 14 points from him, the last game against. Stevenson against Leonard. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. And he lobs it up. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Comes to mind, big fellow with feet of a ballerina. Good names. And so he makes both from the line. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoop. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Now here's Bryant. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And it's sent back by Drummond. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Here's Gordon. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That free throw, no good. Well, Eric Gordon is the kind of player that you absolutely do not go under on a screen. He'll pull up from deep. Yeah, he's got great range, and you watch the former Hoosier shoot, and you see how much he uses his legs. Gordon's liable to take a shot from any distance in the gym. I mean, he's got that kind of range, and his form is very efficient, and his confidence is sky high. Good on the second free throw. And, you know, when Gordon is healthy, he's extremely effective. I mean, he's a high-motor player who strokes it well from deep, actually strokes it well from everywhere. Now, here's Beverly. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And that one hits back iron. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Lasagna, the pass to Jackson. A minute 50 left to play here in the second quarter. Uh, the quickness of Reggie Jackson, terrific. Superb at slicing apart the defense with his drives to the rack. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Jackson against Beverly. Six to shoot. Pass to Bellinelli. A three. And it's Beverly missing. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Got a piece of it. Leonard with the steal. One oh six left in the first half of basketball. Here's Bagley. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. 
Leonard attacking. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And he moves so well. When Leonard drives the lane, it's pretty much a guaranteed bucket. Terrific body control, and he plays with the ultimate force. Now here's Jackson. He's got 11. No good on that one. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. And Beverly kicks to Leonard. From the line. Misses off the left iron. Seattle leading by four. Lasagna, the pass to Stevenson. Jackson with it. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K. Checking out Seattle. Kenny, some perspective, please. Well, their playmakers are showing up tonight, seeing the court well, moving the basketball. That's why they had so many assists in the first half. And they're not just relying on ISO plays to generate points. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, you want to try to hold your opponent under 50% shooting. That has not happened. Defensively, they're allowing way too many good looks. They need to do a better job of shutting down the lane. Outside, Lamp. Here's Hewless, and the shot is long. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. That's good, and the Seattle lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Leonard. Ross has earned his reputation as a team first guy. Excellent at distributing the ball. Collison kicks to Lamb. Bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Well, for the past month, it's been quite a three-point shooting display for these small forwards. Just check out their percentages from long range. Second is Kawhi Leonard. I mean, you've got a dilemma when it comes to any of the guys on that list. Stay up tight on them, on the perimeter, and you risk them blowing by you. But if you back off, you might get your feelings hurt. Well, I think you've got to take the first approach, Greg. you got to get up into them. You can't give these guys any space to shoot the three. Poirier, no good. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. So the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Second chance shot, and Marjanovic with the layup. Marjanovic has got six points. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Kyle Anderson comes in for Bagley, and Cameron Payne subbed in for Ross. And then for Seattle, Mario Hezonjas checked in for Marjanovic. Lance Stevenson comes in for Lamb, and it's Jackson in for Tyler Eulis. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Jackson misses. Well for New Orleans, shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. Leonard goes straight to the defender for the dunk, draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's on Przingis. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Seattle. 105 left in the third quarter. Stevenson passes to Collison. Outside, Brzingis. Here's Jackson. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one is off. He hits the second from the line. Good, strong, physical body, athletic, versatile. He does a lot of good things out there. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Kyle Anderson. And there's Bryant, then it's Patrick Bever, and it's Bellinelli in a shooting guard. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Shot clock at five to take the lead. Connects from three-point range. Bellinelli's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. 
Jackson passes to Drummond. Jackson against Beverly. And they double up Jackson. Up again. It's hauled in by Beverly. For New Orleans, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Leonard against Stevenson. Shoots from 14. Leonard, no luck. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Jackson finds Drummond over Anderson. And Andre Drummond, the bucket on the assist from Jackson. Six points for Drummond. Well for New Orleans, shooting here about 46% for the game. Bounce pass from Beverly. Pass to Bellinelli. Back to Bryant. Wide open look. And right on target. Good. And New Orleans leads by two. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Outside Gordon. Back to Jackson. And there's the pass to Persingas. On the wing, Stevenson. He's covered by Leonard. From deep. Seattle with a fresh shot clock. And that one's good. Drummond. This is what Drummond is known for, fellas. I mean, assertive, aggressive, relentless, hardworking. He's just a dog at offensive rebound. Stevenson against Leonard. Over Stevenson. And it's Leonard missing. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. Free throw good, Gordon. New Orleans trails by three. Pass to Begley. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Passes it to Gordon. Outside, Brzingis. Bagley with the block. And a skilled shot blocker to boot. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle shooter. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Outside, Lamb. Knocked away. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Leonard with the ball, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And you know, the intensity Leonard plays with on defense is impressive, using his huge hands to claw the ball away. Jackson kicks to Porzingis. Back to Jackson. It's hauled in by Beverly. Beverly's got his fourth rebound in this one. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. On the wing, Jackson, defended by Beverly. Here's Persingas, and it's good from the elbow. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Pass to Bryant. Outside Leonard. Plays it up and banks it in. Leonard's got the lead up to five now for New Orleans. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Here's Persingas. The offensive rebound. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Free throw, good Drummond. Selected ninth overall in the 2012 draft. Drummond's carved out a nice NBA career for himself. 
Beverly looking around. Porzingis with the steal. Oh, and here we go with Gordon. Nobody back. And the basket is good. Timeout, timeout. Gordon's timeout, timeout. got the game tied up here for Seattle. Eric Gordon has a knack for scoring in big spots of the game. Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Andre Drummond. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Alvin Gentry said to his team. This game is obviously close, could go either way. And he wanted to make sure that his guys were all on the same page and were all staying with the game plan in order to close this one out. Kevin? Drummond, a, a huge target rolling to the rim. Drummond's gotten everything to fall, shooting six for six tonight. Outside Leonard. Shoots, and it's New Orleans scoring again. And such a clutch shooter. I mean, he lives for the big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. Bellinelli against Jackson. Here's Persingas. Good! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Beverly, Leonard trying to break free. Got it! And despite being a little guy, Beverly knows how to step up big. Terrific at delivering when his team needs a, an important basket. Seattle calls timeout. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hits the three-point bomb. We're seeing the red-hot version of Gordon right now. New Orleans with the ball. Outside Leonard. Shoots. Yes! Kawhi Leonard. Boy, it's a scary sight when Kawhi Leonard starts lighting it up like this. This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. And it's Seattle with the ball. It's a one-point game. Jackson with the bounce pass. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. It counts. And Gordon has the confidence of his teammates, Kevin. A prime time scorer who lives for situations just like these. In this situation. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in a game. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's New Orleans with it. Here's Leonard. And it's sent back by Drummond. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. Those were pressure-packed free throws. And he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. So a close game sees Seattle taking this win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. KP, balanced offensive effort tonight. What did you like about how you played? I think uh, we played as a team. We shared the ball, and, and it was a team effort today. And uh, everybody was involved. Everybody was was uh, playing good offensively, and uh, that's why we were able to come up with a win. Really looking good at both ends tonight, Chris Stops. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. So long, everyone.